from D to A, your logbook, another salute to the glute, and Ask Barb coming up on HelpMySquashGame.com. And this is Barb Cooper and welcome to HelpMySquashGame.com from D to A. That's where we're going to go. Now training has to be measurable. You have to be able to see your progress. So when you're starting to look at your game you're going to have to become more and more accurate under more and more pressure if you're going to go from D to A. So Let's look at a straight drive. Now I flush this out much more on Play Better Squash, but I wanna take a principle and get you to understand it. So you're going to always be playing a straight drive either when you're in control, when you need to be accurate, and when you're out of control, when you're desperate to be accurate. And accuracy means different things at different levels. A D player, maybe you just have to hit it straight into the back of the court. A B player, you've got to keep it close to the side wall and make sure it doesn't clip that side wall. An A player, you need to keep that ball maybe four inches away from the side wall in order for the opponent not to cut it off. So when you practice, that's what you need to practice. Mark the court, maybe put down a line that's two feet away from the side wall and try and keep your drives within that two feet range. Then make it one foot then make it six inches and still keep practicing hitting the ball from the front of the court and the back of the court and maintaining that six inch accuracy that's going to take you to be an a player now you remember in the last show i was talking about logging all of your training i found you a fantastic resource it's coach's training manual to psyching for sport by terry orlick it's a wonderful resource. You can write down everything about your mental training and you can log it so that at the end of the year, you've started in January and you're gonna finish in December and you can look at it and you can really see your progress. The other thing is, there's no weaseling out of this. If you've written it down, you're supposed to be practicing it. So make sure that you keep those logs diligently day after day after day and at the end of the year review them and really celebrate how much better you are. So here's a solid rubber ball. It's actually a lacrosse ball. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it under our glute anywhere we know there's a bit of stiffness or not. And then what I'm going to do is I'm supporting my body weight on my hands and I'm slowly finding those knots. Now, I know it'll feel sore when you start, but trust me, do this, the pain will go away. You'll feel incredible. And now it's time for Ask Barb. And I've got a great question from Nick. Hi Barb, my name is Nick. I want to know what is the best thing to eat nutrition-wise uh, for general in playing squash. Nick, squash players need masses of food, but we need good food. So my recommendation to you is cook as much of the food as you can yourself. Lots of complex carbohydrates like rice and grains. Make sure you stay away from processed food, um, any sort of processed food and any sort of fast food. Get yourself really good fuel for your body to work with. 